This video is one of the videos that explain about Athena program, which is a finite element based software system specifically developed for nonlinear analysis for reinforced concrete structures. Athena program produced by Chervenka company. You can find us via the website and download the program from it or on YouTube by name Chervenka Consulting or in Facebook by name Athena. The example used in this video is the same example in tutorial file. I would like to speak in this video about very important things like interface. We use it if we want to model a thin size like mortar or epoxy and it's for contact between volumes. We can say that it's a zero dimensional volumes. Before we start talking about interface, we will talk about collapse command. For example, we will draw this rectangle and copy it to another one by using copy command. And uh, we will copy this rectangle by X axis. And we will put five, for example, surface and select finish. Now, by clicking on right mouse, mouse button, uh, then label all we uh, have all lines and nodes numbers now if we want move this rectangle by this distance and we can show any dimension by authorities dimension create distance and select the first point second point then the dimension will appear now from move we select surface and we write 1.9773 and if this box checked and select the surface to move this line will be merged <coughs> with another one from rectangle as we see each node has one numbering and one number for the line now if we uncheck this uh, box and move the rectangle all are kept we have two lines above above each other and we can make sure of that by this icon line and select this line we we will see uh, number two here so we have two lines in this area so the idea is to have volume with zero dimensions as if we put a line above the line and generate between two lines surface and then volume our example is two bricks and we want create a, a interface between them like mortar the easiest way is to move the surface some stands away and then back with option collapse disabled now we must draw the model we will draw the first point from create point and in command line we will put the, the coordinates and we use a copy command to complete the draw uh, in into this type points and distance 0 0.3 do extrude to line then select this point and finish now we have line by this line we can draw surface by y 0 0.05 as we have in the model and into this type line do extrude surface and select the line Finish. Now we have the brick bottom. We should put it uh, in brick two layer by activate the brick two layer and surface select and OK. Now we uh, will draw uh, the top brick by copy also by copying uh, the brick bottom uh, zero point. Uh, 
to for example on a y axis zoom now we want to uh, put the new one in a brick one layer by the same way and now we can display the brick two layer to complete uh, the top brick because it's uh, two parts we can use also uh, copy entities type should be line and uh, y 0.03 do extrude surface select this line now we have a uh, top brick now we should create interface between these two bricks like mortar so we should move one of them by this distance and we can uh, know this distance by dimension as we said before dimension create distance now it's important to check the interface line vector by utilities swab normals line it's so important thing it uh, and the post uh, both point should be in the same direction as we see now we should move back uh, the uh, bricks before that we we, we should active uh, the interface layer then uh, select move uh, entities type should be surface and uh, y uh, 0 0.04 the same and without collapse select now we have uh, two lines of, uh, above together uh, we can be sure of the number will be appear here should be two now uh, from geometry create contact surface and select the two interface line here then escape to finish if we de deactivate the brick one and brick two layer uh, the interface will be appear in interface layer as we see and we can be sure also from this icon surface and if we click in this area the uh, one new surface will be appear in this command and delete this dimension by dimension delete select escape now we can assign materials by these icons or from data materials uh, elastic 3d because the top brick contain two parts one steel and other concrete select surface finish after that uh, concrete concrete ec2 then assign surface you should select this surface and this because the same material and finish interface material we can assign it from data materials interface we uh, input all parameters as we, as we see and we should select 2d because our model 2d after that uh, assign surface and we select the surface here then finish on this icon we can see all materials like elastic 3d concrete and interface now we should assign uh, loads by this icon the first one for point constraint four point uh, by x constraint assign this point finish then uh, for line constraint for line on x and y assign the bottom line and finish displacement for line y displacement minus 0 0.0007 meter 
then assign this line finish now for surface we want to select max monitors for surface and we have defined each surface its own max monitor as we see now and each one has different color now we can see all conditions by clicking on this icon now we can generate mesh by mesh structured surface assigned number of cells like this now we can uh, go to Athena analysis by this icon we can pause analyze to generate some diagram between displacement and load so horizontal axis uh, will be displacement and uh, in vertical axis will be uh, loads we can rename the axis from here and OK. Now we can complete the analysis. The model is now under compression. And when the collapse occurs in the interface layer, as we see now, the displacement begins. Through the curve, we can see every step and which step the collapse happened, as we see now. Finally, we thank you for your attention and for any inquiries, please don't hesitate to contact us. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.